Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokey. I'm here with another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Wi-Fi battle. Again, this is continuing my little quickie session that's been going on. I appreciate you guys um, bearing with it as we're just been doing monotype random battles and not monotype random, but uh, well, I guess technically it is random because I'm using a monotype and then I don't know who I'm getting on the ladder. But yeah, we're hopping on the Pikachu, Pikachu, Pikachu ladder with uh, monotype water. That should be a lot of fun. Um, I also saw a comment that was like, it'd be pretty cool if you go to different towns based on what you're using, and I kind of liked it, so I went to Cerulean with Monotype Water, because obviously Misty and whatnot, so that was a pretty cool suggestion, bro. Uh, I also saw a suggestion for a Lance theme team, and obviously I've been seeing the Alolan one, don't worry. I feel, I feel like I did an Alolan one, did I not? Someone please tell me if I did, because I, I swear I did. But maybe I didn't. Maybe I, I dreamed it or something. I don't know. I play so much Pokemon, I probably did dream it. But if you guys missed any of my previous Wi-Fi battles, obviously, um, once we finish these monotype, I'm going back to longer Wi-Fi battles. Uh, but as someone said, they'd rather see me upload than none at all. Like a short upload than none at all. So I appreciate that. Uh, because these take a little bit more time. But, uh, okay, so we got our game. Let's see how this goes. I can see Shell Smash Cloyster just winning this game really, really easily. Rocker is either Needle King or Kabutops. I guess Chansey technically too. Yeah, okay. Uh, their Venusaur is going to be a problem. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, we're going to go off with the Starmie lead though because Starmie beats basically Needle King, can beat Gyarados if it doesn't Mega Evolve. Uh... Kabutops, obviously. I'm four attack Starmie. I don't typically use this one on Wi-Fi, so I'm pretty excited for it. Uh, it's just a really offensive one. I typically use a bold Thunder Wave one because it supports the team. I actually haven't used Starmie in a long time, especially with the rise of like Mega Beedro on Wi-Fi. I haven't liked it as much because I'm always in the back when I use it, you know? But uh, yeah, hopefully this should be a fun time. Uh, I like my opponent's team a lot, and ideally we can come out with the dub. But let's see how this goes, though. Experience farm. Alright, so they lead off a Chansey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was already Chansey, like, immediately. And real talk though, bro, whether you're catching a Let's Go or playing in any other game, this thing is an experience. This is actually an experience farm, bro. Too bad Blastoise doesn't have Rapid Spin in this. Uh, I'm gonna make the Polyrath play. I don't want to because they're just gonna go Venusaur after and then they can just Mega Drain my entire team, but it's fine. Um, I'm definitely gonna Mega Evolve my Gyarados, it's the only Pokemon I have that can Mega in this game, but they go right for Stealth Rock. Unfortunately, this was their Stealth Rocker and nothing else. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna play a little bit more aggressively and go for Bulk Up um, into Ice Punch because I know that Venusaur will beat me 1v1 anyway, but it won't knock me out. And uh, basically, they should Mega Evolve Venusaur versus this build and not their Gyarados just because Venusaur obviously hits, or hits really hard versus my team. Uh, so by going for Bulk Up, I hit it with more power putting it in range of Psychic from my uh, Starmie. So that's what I want out of it. Because uh, going for a plus one bulk up is better than going for one bulk up and then, you know, obviously them mega draining it back because they should be faster than me. Unless they're running a bad nature, which I'm uh, not a bad nature, but not a plus speed nature. But they should always be faster. Ideally, they do mega evolve here. Like I said, I can take the mega drain. Obviously, they can go for Leech Seed too, which I don't mind because I tank Leech Seed into mega drain as well. This is why I kind of like bulk up. Especially because I'm adamant, this will do a good chunk. Oh, that's some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful damage. See, that's some amazing damage right there. And by them going for Leech Seed first, I'm a little bit surprised. Are they not Sleep Powder? They might be Leech Seed, Protect, Sludge Bomb, Mega Drain. Either way, as I did mention, I do take the Mega Drain after. It's going to do a lot, but I think even after Recovery... Then again, Polygraph is really thick. Do they not have Mega Drain? Oh my gosh, nice! I fought the one Venusaur in the game without Mega Drain. I'll take it. Hey, all right. So you get rid of easily, easily, easily the biggest threat to my entire team. That thing, honestly, just click. Ma what was her set? Like Leech Seed Growth, Sub Leech Seed Sludge Bomb. They should always have Mega Drain. Like you want? I mean, you have a lot of answers to. They have Needle King. They have Kabutops. They have Gyarados. So they have a lot of answers to obviously uh, Rock types and stuff like that. But I don't know. Uh, they end up bringing out the Gyarados here. Ice Punch does break a sub if they go for it, and it hits them for neutral. Obviously, if they Mega Evolve next turn, I'll go for the Sewer Power, provided I do survive. Oh, they go for Bite. What? Am I trying to get flinched? Bro, that thing learns Crunch. I might get another battle after this. I'll probably get another battle after this, just because. I think this one's going to be a little bit easier than I thought it'd be. Because they're running Bite Gyarados. 
I was actually messing around too, but just on just for fun. We're like sub bite Gyarados because obviously you flinch your opponent. All right, well. <laughs> that doesn't even knock me out. Which is fine, because I can shell smash up a closer. Like I said, I'll get another game. I'm not going to give you guys just this game, because this opponent obviously doesn't have the best moves. I thought they had the best movesets. Like, they have Stealth Rock on Chansey. Uh, they they had Leech Seed and Sludge Bomb on Venusaur. I didn't know they weren't running, like... Like, they might be a more inexperienced one. Anyway. Um, because they didn't Mega Evolve this, I can go out to Shell... Uh, Shellster. <laughs> what? I like... I like... I like de-evolved it, and then fused its name, Shelter and Cloyster. But I can go out to Cloyster here. I can Shell Smash up. And, uh, uh, as they're forced to stay in because of Hyper Beam. This is why Hyper Beam is not used in competitive. Though, little fun fact, if you actually played competitive back in the day when it was actually red, blue, and yellow, and not Let's Go, Hyper Beam was used because if you picked up a KO with Hyper Beam, the recharge turn wasn't there anymore. You didn't have to recharge. So it was actually a really good move back then. Also when it was a physical move. But yeah, plus two Ice Beam easily knocks this thing out. I don't even know if they can Mega it. Uh, Cloyster might just win. I don't know what they have on their Chansey. I'll be real. Like, I might actually be able to beat a 1v1 without even going for self-destruct. Like, I can definitely beat his team with, uh, I think, just Starmie. But yeah, we get rid of Gyarados. Nice. That crit did not matter at all. They probably will go Chansey. Hmm. Yeah, they probably will go Chansey. Uh, otherwise, nothing else takes a hit. The Zard Y live this? I mean, I'm going for Surf either way. I guess Zardex... Zardex might actually... Live. Nope, nope. It's <laughs> just not Zardex. Okay. Uh, Zardex actually probably could have lived it, and Dragon Pulse would have knocked me out. But either way, I think Surf was the best play, because if they make involved in the Zard Y, I still wanted a super effective attack. Like, Ice Beam is neutral on both, but Surf is neutral on one of them, and also super effective on the other, so it's just a better play. Yeah, we're definitely gonna get one more game though. I'm not gonna get, end it with this. This this. This is way too fast. And for some reason, they're not going Chansey. Do they think I have Rock Slide or something? I don't know. I don't know. I don't even think this thing learns Rock Slide. I'm not Amistar. Kabutop should go down. Yo, Cloyster is. I love Shell Smash Cloyster. What I love about it over Amistar is not only does it have great defense, but it's faster than Mega Alakazam if you're timid. So that's like a huge plus, right? Amistar doesn't have that speed tier, which is why I chose Cloyster on my Monotype Water over that. Go out to Needle King. Why are they, why are they not going Chansey? Can they not touch me? Or do they just not want me to boom? I don't know. Not a big fan of how this was played. On uh, my opponent's part, but it's okay. We all gotta start somewhere. And you learn a lot from a loss than you do from a win, in my opinion. Um, unless you, like, locked your opponent and then you, you try and force yourself to learn from it. But uh, their last is Chansey, which I will be going for self-destruct versus... If their Chansey happens to be, like, a protect, a random protect variant with Softball and Toxic, if I didn't have Gyarados, it could technically beat my entire team with Softball, Toxic, plus Protect. I've been seeing Protect on Chansey, too. Even though it doesn't have Wish in this game, so I'm not sure why. Anyway, we're going to self-destruct. This will easily knock out Chansey. Cloyster! Really ending it with a boom right here. And like I said, I'm not just going to give you guys this game. Uh, just because this was really, like... Obviously, my opponent didn't have the best movesets. Like, had they have the best movesets, I think this could have been a really, really good game. Um, and uh, probably a losing one for me at that. Because Venusaur plus Chansey kind of beat all my... Pokemon, period. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. We're going to look for another battle. We can try and get someone else. This will be a longer one, I guess, than usual for the next few ones. I, I, I just can't bring myself to leave that there. That's not the only game I'm going to give you. Alright. So hopefully... Get a nice one right here. Let's see what we got. Anthony K. I feel like I've played you before. Or maybe i just seen a whole bunch of Anthony's. I love Monotype Water. My fa my two favorite typings are Water and Dragon, if you guys didn't know. I know none of you asked, but... Uh, okay, Polyrath, Pidgeot, Alakazam, Snorlax. Like, I can see Cloyster booming on literally everything. I love 
Starmie in this game. Offensively, my opponent does not switch into Starmie besides Snorlax, which I'm okay with weakening because my Cloyster can win in the end game if his shell smashes up on Needle King if it's not a Thunderbolt Needle King or Pidgeot. Uh, I do need a little bit of damage on Polyrath though, so we're gonna, we're gonna probably go in for another Shell Smash sweep if possible. If not, I think the combination of Gyarados plus Cloyster can really break through Polyrath. So let's see how this goes. I like how your Eevee's name Eve. Oh, lead off with it, I see. So Sappy Seed or Buzzy Buzz might be coming out. I don't really have an out versus that though. I just love this Pokemon too much offensively that I get paralyzed though. I'll go Blastoise. Alright, we'll just throw off some Scalds. Maybe we can get some Burns. I shouldn't be too a KO by going Blastoise. Even they go for Sappy Seed here and they get their little Leech Seed off on me. As well as their Attack. I shouldn't be too a KO'd. And Blastoise's Scald is just so spammable even if they go Polyrath. So let's see if they go for... Uh, they switch. Oh, they go Snorlax? They go Pidgeot. Alright, that's fine. I don't think Pidgeot can too a KO me unless he goes for like Air Slash into... Hyper Beam, and I'm just gonna go for Ice Beam here. If they Mega Evolve this, that means... Okay, they do go for Air Slash. They have Hyper No, they have to Mega... They had to Mega Evolve to do a KO me with Air Slash and a Hyper Beam. Or they could just flinch me. So if they don't opt to Mega Evolve this, that means that my Starmie will outspeed it. So I just need a little bit of prior damage. What'd they expect me to go into? Maybe Polyrath on the, uh, the Eevee? Like, I don't know why you would make that double otherwise. So they switch out. What are they going out to? Nido King on the Ice Beam. Hey, bro. You trying to just get up rocks versus me? I mean, this is fair because Nido King will not die to Ice Beam and you do get up rocks. Unless I freeze. No? Okay. So throw off a Scald here. They might have Thunderbolt. They have Thunder. Oh my gosh. I think I'm going to live it though. Because Blastoise is just so bulky. It's strong, but Blastoise is really bulky. Yeah, that did nothing. Nice. Yo, imagine I tried to shell smash in that thing's face with Cloyster. I would have gotten blown away. Like, legitimately speaking, I would have gotten blown away. So we get rid of what I think that was their rocker. Of course, they have weakened my entire team, though, for, uh... They have weakened my entire team for... What? Come on, dude. Ah, I'm like a time. I wanted to play that game out. They haven't weakened my entire team, but they weakened my Blasters for Zam. That's what I meant to say, because Zam is like really good versus my team. I'll get another one. Hopefully it's a fast one, because I really am pressed for time. Because it's not the recording these that takes a while, it's the rendering, because I, I record them at 50,000 bitrate, which is a lot, if you don't know anything about uh, recording with it. Um, and it means it takes it a while to render. And the reason I do that is because I love the way the quality looks. I've been spoiled by it, right? I did it once, and I was like, oh wow, this took a long time. But I love the way the quality looks. So to render it and then to have to upload it and all that stuff just takes a long time. Recording is not a big deal. You guys see I put up 30 minute. I mean, some of you don't watch the other ones, which is fine. You might not know about Showdown. Uh, but I put up like 30 minute plus videos a day. That's easy because they render really quickly. But yeah, ideally we can get a, a decent game going on here. If the next game does disconnect, unfortunately I do have to end it. From there, I won't be able to keep going, but like I said, ideally we can get like a, a solid game going around. Or we can not find a game at all. Let me see if I could... Let me stop it. I can't even stop it? I press B, and it's not even stopping. Is it frozen? Okay, there you go. It was just lagging a little bit. Nice, found a game. Awesome. So... I have not played you yet, at least not today that I know of, uh, so it should be good. I'm going to be able to use my Monotype Water again. I think Monotype Water is really, like, I have Tentacruel on this team just in case we fight a Zapdos because I have Miracle, and there's no reason to not click. Oh my gosh, Mewtwo as well. Nice. And Starmie. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I mean, I lead Tentacruel always. That's it. Like, I don't have a... I'm going to lose to Mew... This is, this is an L, guys. This is the easiest L of my... Of their li this is the easiest L of my life and the easiest win of my opponent's life. But ideally, they don't care about rocks and they actually lead off with Zapdos. Look at my team and look at Zapdos. So, by me leading Tentacruel, they click Thunderbolt, do a ton. I Miracote them back and Zapdos is gone. I think I have to try and go for a Shell Smash sweep with Cloyster. I'm not sure. 
I know my Mega Gyarados might actually save me as well. They just have so much, man. They have so much going for them. They have Dragonite, which is a pain. They have Zapdos, obviously. And of course, my opponent has a Mewtwo as well. So I might get beat down in five minutes. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's actually see what ends up happening. That isn't a Master Ball. Alright, it's Zapdos. Perfect. Like I said, my opponent has no reason to not click Thunderbolt. Please don't randomly click Toxic and just click Thunderbolt here. I need you to click Thunderbolt. I'm going to click Miracle and pray. Thunderbolt me, dude. There we go. Now, don't paralyze me and full paralyze me. Okay. Nice. All right. So, I got rid of, in my opinion, well, the second biggest threat because, of course, they do have a Mewtwo. But I got rid of such an annoying Pokemon for my team. So, I'm really glad about that. Of course, like I said, they do have a Mewtwo and Mewtwo will blow me back. But if they do bring out Mewtwo, ideally they try to go for Calm Mind. I go for Sludge Bomb, I get the Poison, and I'm going to be able to bring out my Mega Gyarados, live every hit, and crunch them to knock them out. But yeah, getting rid of Zapdos is amazing. This is how I, I hoped that my turn one would go. If they disconnect here, like I said, I don't have time. But Dragonite comes out, which is interesting. I'm faster than Dragonite, and I do have the, uh, the Ice Beam. Uh, it won't knock out Dragonite, but it'll do a ton. So I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. And if they go for Earthquake, then it doesn't matter. They haven't obviously set up on me or anything. This is actually something I want to Shell Smash up on, but I think I want to Shell Smash up on Cloyster. Woof! I get a nasty roll there. That has to be like absolute max. Let me see this. Tentacruel is destroying my opponent. That had to be like an absolute max roll, right? Oh, they're like a, like a mixed Dragonite. Or something. They're like minus Spadef Nature with some bad IVs. They might have been mixed like Thunderbolt, uh, Earthquake, or Thunderbolt Outrage, Flamethrower type of thing. Starmie comes out. Another giant threat. That's fine. Gonna click Sludge Bomb here. They should be able to knock me out. Unless they're Bolt Starmie, which I... Actually, I don't remember if I outspeed Bolt Starmie. I feel like Bolt Starmie is a little bit... Bro, you have no reason to not click Psycho. Why are you clicking Ice Beam here? You know what? Just let my Tentacruel take everything from you. I need damage on this too because after Shell Smash, now it dies to plus something Surf. Why would you not click? What, what are you clicking Ice Beam for? What do I have? Dude, I've, what am I looking at? I know I have Mono Water. Click Thunderbolt or Psychic. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that was uh, my opponent's you know, game plan. I, I don't know what my opponent was thinking. They had to have misclicked, right? That was it. Like You have to have misclicked. Psychic or Thunderbolt was free. But because of that damage that I got with the Sludge Bomb, it's actually very crucial. I can now go out to my own Starmie, and my own Starmie can just go for Thunderbolt. I will live a Thunderbolt from them, and I should be able to knock them out. As far as their Thunderbolt switchings go, they do have Muck. I guess they have Mewtwo as well, but obviously Mewtwo risks being paralyzed. And you know what? I might just click multiple Thunderbolts and go for that 10% chance. Who knows? We'll see, though. Um, like they, they could always go Mewtwo if they want to. I don't know. Nice. I want a speed tie or a potential speed tie. And this should be able to knock them out. Beautiful. We get rid of Starmie. Awesome. Uh, if they go Muck, I think the game plan, or I think the best thing to do is to actually surf it multiple times and then be able to bring out my uh, Cloyster and set up on it. Yeah, they go Muck. Okay, so I need to surf this thing like twice. I should live one. I, I, I can live one crunch. I can live one. At four, I can live one. So surf. I guess they can have Mega Drain too. Uh, I'm just going to hope they're not Mega Drain and try and shot smash up on them. Because then I can explode on the Mewtwo. That is so much damage too. They do. Okay. Well, remember when I said I'm going to hope they don't have Mega Drain? I lied. But that's fine. They went for Mega Drain first over crunch. Which I mean, it's still recovering them either way. Yeah, we're going to surf here. It just depends on what they're, what Mewtwo they're using, you know? If it's, uh, uh, foul play. If it's, uh, Mewtwo, if they decide to Mega Evolve into Mewtwo X, it's a little bit tougher, right? If it's Mewtwo Y, I mean, Mewtwo Y is also tough, but, um, it has, like, no defense, and it's also weak to crunch, right? So, I got a ton of damage off uh, with this Starmie, which is amazing. Uh, I have two choices here. Well, I have multiple choices, actually, but I'm thinking, what, what is... 
what do I want to do? Like, what is the better one? And I, th I think Gyarados is just the best play. Like, honestly, Waterfall picks up a KO. Uh, if they go Mewtwo after, I can deal with them. If they go Aerodactyl, I'm going to try and Shell Smash up with my Cloyster on them as well. So as long as Gyarados is alive, I should be good. And I'm Shiny Gyarados on this one too. Nice. So we'll Waterfall here. I'm not going to Mega Evolve just yet because I don't want to show my opponent that I'm Mega Gyarados. They might expect me to Earthquake and might go Aerodactyl, but I think that's a poor play. Especially when Waterfall is, is just so free. So if they go Mewtwo now, uh, I do Mega Evolve and I click Crunch. I think I do Mega Evolve and I click Crunch. If they go Aerodactyl, I think I switch out into Blast. No, not Blastoise. I switch out into Polyrath. Um, because I basically sack... Actually... Yeah, I go Polyrath and I, pr I pretty much sack it. Because what I want to do is be able to bring out my Cloyster and Shell Smash on this thing. I think I also just fire off Ice Punches too, as opposed to Waterfalls. As they go for Rock Slide, nice. So they might have Wing Attack, they might have Fly. I don't mind myself going down, I don't mind this thing going down at all. But you know Waterfall here. I meant to Ice Punch. <laughs> I guess if they go Mewtwo, it's better to get off damage anyway. Let's see how this goes. Uh... If they do wing attack me, that'd be fine. They do end up going Mewtwo. It's a shiny Mewtwo as well. Oh, that's my best friend chilling and playing Tetris. 99, huh? I'm about to text him. That's my best friend IRL. I think I have to go black. I don't want to go hard Gyarados. Like I can like if they are uh if they if they are Mega Mewtwo Y, like I can always Mega Evolve and avoid a psychic, right? They might have Thunderbolt or Thunder, which would be scary, but Mega Gyarados can live, I think even a plus two one. And if they are Mega Mewtwo X, I obviously want to try and skull burn them, right? They do Mega Evolve into Mega Mewtwo Y. Okay, this is good and bad. Because they might not see the Mega coming. Yeah, they do go for Combine as well. Ooh, this is not that good. This is not that good. I'm scared now. I kept Cloyster in the back, by the way, because it lives a hit from uh Aerodactyl. Uh, I'm just gonna go for Skull Burns. If they're Thunderbolt, I probably I might just lose. I might just lose if they're Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt might just finish me off. I don't think I think Mega Gyarados will always live it, but it it depends on if they're like Combine three attacks as well. Like if they don't have Recover, I go for Scald, I go for the Burn, and then I spam Earthquake because it does the most damage. Like I'll live any one hit right here. They go for Psychic, which is great. I don't mind them attacking me first. This should 2k on me. Oh my gosh, it did so much. Let's see if we can get a Skull Burn. Nope. That's fine. We're just gonna click Earthquake. It does. It probably does more than Skull, considering their Calm Minds and whatnot. Don't be Calm Mind Recover. And if you are, be Calm Mind Recover Psychic Fire Blast. Good. Okay, so even if they have Calm Mind Thunder, my Gyarados should always, always, always be able to live this hit, right? Gyarados should literally always be able to live this hit. No matter what. It should always be able to live this hit uh, while Mega Evolving. Obviously, like I said, I become part Dark type, so they can't aim with Psychic. They might end up going for Psychic, but I Mega Evolve because they are Mega Mewtwo Y. They are weak, still weak to this. If they became Mega Mewtwo X, it'd be neutral, which is why I said that that was very important. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, okay. Hard Aerodactyl. Did they expect me to be this? Okay, that's pretty cool. I guess they could flinch me? Like, this won't kill. This won't kill. Should I try and win it with Gyarados? I, like, I don't want to be flinched. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. I believe in myself. They, they literally have to flinch me so many times to win. It's literally fine, yeah. And they can miss as well, so I have outs. Okay, they flinched me once. I'm actually getting paranoid now. I'm actually super paranoid. Oh my gosh, I'm very paranoid. <laughs> so I'm going to go uh, Polyrath. I'm still out of range of a, a plus one. I, I should still be out of range of a neutral attack. And I think I, I, I bulk up. Right? Because I think what bulk up allowing me to... What bulk up allows me to do is it doesn't allow it doesn't allow Mewtwo to set up on me. 
And also if they opt to stay in over going out into Mewtwo, I get the plus one over them. If they go for Fly, I could also live it as well. I'm not sure if they're going to go hard Mewtwo, but this end game is getting a little bit tough. They do go hard Mewtwo, but like I said, by me going for bulk up, it means that Mewtwo cannot go for Calm Mind. Which means that when I go Gyarados again, I click Psychic and I pick up my KO. So this should mean that, like I said, Mewtwo should not be able to go for Calm Mind. A plus one Waterfall should be able to do 50% to a Mega Mewtwo Y. They can just knock me out with Psychic, I don't care. And as long as Cloyster's in the back, I should be good versus the, uh, the Aerodactyl. As I do have Recover, ooh. Okay, so the Calm Mind recovers Psychic, but I think this still does 50%, so they're gonna end up around the same, the same range anyway. Yeah, yeah, easily, easily. So this is good. So, like I said, the point of bulk up was to make sure that they could not end game Calm Mind and, and potentially hax me because of their uh, Aerodactyl. I mean, Aerodactyl can legitimately still flinch my team to death, but all I gotta do is bring out Gyarados, click Crunch, it picks up a KO. Let's do this, Gyarados. And I still have Cloyster in the back, which needs to be flinched twice in order to lose the Aerodactyl. Because Aerodactyl is not that strong and Cloyster is very defensive. So, not only do they have to muscle through my Gyarados, but... And I click Crunch here always. They'll die no matter what. Even if they recover, they'll die. This is too strong. Yep, they can't touch me. Alright, cool. Maybe Shadow Ball is their last attack. Or Fire Blast. Ah, uh, okay. Mega Gyarados helping me out. Thank you very much. Now, it all comes down to, do I actually get flinched? by the, uh, do I actually get flinched by the Aerodactyl? Because that's going to be very important too. Because if I get flinched to death, then that's the end of, that's the whole game, right? And there's nothing I can do about that. Let's see. Don't flinch me, baby. I'd appreciate no flinch. Rocks I can still miss too, and I still have closer at the back. Nice. Mega Gyarados is able to pull through, and we are able to win. Beautiful. All right. So that's a good way to end it. Well, everybody, hope you all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you, everybody, for watching. You can check out my other Wi-Fi battles. There is a playlist down below. Uh, as I've been doing lately, I've been doing these monotype runs, so I should be going through most, if not all, the types. Uh, obviously, some of the types are really tough because, for example, Mono Ghost has Gengar, Alolan Marowak, and then, like, the babies. So it's a little bit tough, but we'll see how it ends up going. Maybe I'll use multiple Gengars and, like, a Mega Gengar and and things like that too but of course if you guys did enjoy feel free to leave a like and subscribe uh link to my other battles are down below check out the guide to team building as well that is also down below and i will see you guys next time goodbye my friends